Hi, Chris Norris from Korg USA here, and in this video we'll be going a little bit more in-depth into the audio inputs and outputs of the teacher station and the student interface of the GEC5 system. On the left side of the teacher unit, you'll first see instrument input left and right. You're typically going to need a dual quarter inch cable to go into that end, and the other end will also be dual quarter inch to go into the left and right outputs of your keyboard. Next up is the auxiliary in two. This is an eighth inch input that is usually used for your computer audio. If your computer has an eighth inch headphone output, you can have a cable going from there into the auxiliary in two. If you're using a USB audio interface as your sound card, you'll need to go out from that device into the aux in two. This interface uses dual RCA, but yours may also use dual quarter inch. So you'll need a cable that matches that output to go into the eighth inch input of the aux in on the GEC5. Next up are two quarter inch jacks for room out. For this, you'll typically need a dual quarter inch to go to another dual quarter inch, which will go to your left and right monitor speakers. After room out is record out, and this is also dual quarter inch outputs. You'll need to find a cable that matches whatever type of input your recording device has, be it an external recording device or a USB recording device. On the GEC5 student interface, there are inputs for three different audio signals. There's an auxiliary one on the front, and that's an eighth inch connection. Then on the rear, there are two RCA connections, one marked auxiliary in two, and the other marked instrument in. Instrument in is typically where you'd plug your keyboard in, and most of the time you'll need a dual quarter inch to dual RCA cable for this. Auxiliary in two is typically where you'll plug in a computer audio signal. If you're coming straight from the computer, you can go from the computer's eighth inch headphone output, or if you're going from a USB audio device, you can go from the outputs on that device, which are typically dual RCA or dual quarter inch going into this dual RCA jack. On the front of the device, there's an auxiliary in one, which is an eighth inch and is typically used for a student's portable music player, like a CD player, iPod, or MP3 player. And lastly, on the rear of the student interface is a mic output. This eighth inch jack will take the audio from the student's headset microphone and send it to any other audio device. You can either plug it directly into your computer or into your computer's USB audio interface. Now that all the audio is hooked up in your lab, you can click the link on the right for the next video in the series in which we'll cover the basics of the GEC5 software application and tablet app. If you have any questions, you can contact us at korg.com/education. Thanks for watching.